that was the answer we've been waiting for. It's like, you know, you see light at the end of the tunnel, you know, finally, finally, Nabi is going to get the proper treatment. Yes, we were very happy. We are from Maldives. This is Nabi, my son. About two years back, he was just a normal kid. He was running around doing as a normal kid would do. Uh, but all of a sudden, he caught a fever and he started to feel weak. And then he lost uh, the strength to walk or stand. So that's when uh, we got uh, pretty scared. That's when we, you know, took him to our local hospital and they carried out necessary examinations. But the doctors back there, actually, they were not able to diagnose him properly because they didn't have the facility to carry out the necessary exam or tests that was required to have a full diagnosis. So they advised us to take him to abroad. And then we went to India. We uh, stayed there for one month and a group of doctors did plenty, plenty of tests on him. They did uh, numerous tests like scanned his uh, tummy, test his eyesight, and they did the LP, they did the genetic, and later on when actually all these tests were not giving out any cause, they were not seeing any why, why this is happening to him. But in the meantime, uh, they treated him with uh, IV, IG, and they, he was on prednisolone then. Then he was able to stand, but he was not able to walk. He was limping a little. But after the first dose was over, he was gradually regaining his strength back. Uh, but uh, they suggested us to do a genetic testing and also to do a nerve biopsy. Although these tests were carried out, we did not get the results of it when we were there but they treated him with IVIG. By the time he was uh, discharged, he was able to walk, but with a little help. And uh, after going home, uh, he gradually started to feel a little strong. And then within a period of uh, three to four months, he was able to walk. He was walking again. And then uh, Unfortunately, after six or seven months time, he again started to regain, you know, the weakness. He was feeling his legs more weak and slowly, gradually, gradually again, he was back to, you know, like not able to stand or walk. Actually, we didn't know anything about Vestani Hospital. It was actually my husband who was, you know, browsing through internet, trying to, you know, find uh, good hospitals just to get more information about many hospitals. So when he saw the videos of Vegetani through uh, YouTube, uh, he got very impressed with it. And uh, by seeing the facilities and the expertise, uh, we thought, you know, we should come here. You know, we, there was a feeling, you know, yeah, this, this, we should go there. We should go there at least. Although he was, you know, diagnosed as genetic, at heart we were not actually accepting it. We were not accepting it. It was so difficult for us to accept it. Although we had the reports with us, uh, we didn't believe it. Actually, my husband did not read the report at all. It was through me he got to know what was in it. But then uh, after seeing, after seeing the videos of this hospital, we started to plan our trip. Actually, prior to Dr. Naris, we met with Dr. Chayos. And Dr. Chayos, by going through his uh, present documents and examining him and asking uh, about his condition, he said something very positive that made us very happy. You know, he suggested that since Nabi is here, there must be something that we could do for him. So actually, that made us very happy. And uh, he suggested us to see Dr. Naris. And uh, Dr. Naris is a, an excellent doctor, I must say. He examined him. He wanted to, he carried out 
NCI test and which was, um, he said that, you know, he doesn't think that his condition is genetic. And because uh, that he did not receive the proper treatment when it started, uh, his condition has become chronic. I felt like actually screaming at that moment out of happiness, but we were actually, that was the answer we've been waiting for throughout these two years of time. And then finally to hear from Dr. Naris that this is not genetic and his condition can be treatable. It's like, you know, you see light at the end of the tunnel, you know, finally, finally Nabi is going to get the proper treatment. That is actually the best answer that we were looking for and we got it from here. If we didn't come here, we wouldn't have known it. So yeah, that is the most happy moment for us. From the beginning, when we started to plan our trip, um, Personally, I had never experienced about, you know, planning a medical trip. I didn't have any experience prior to this. So I was actually feeling very nervous. But when uh, we contacted the international coordinators, they had been very helpful. We were chatting with them. Whenever we asked them any questions, they would promptly answer. So uh, our planning were made very easy. All the details that we needed were given to us. So uh, when we came here from the porter to the doctor, everyone was very pleasant and very helpful. The most I like is the help that we got from the coordinators. Without them, actually, our plan, our trip would not be this easy. You know, we could just stay in our room and chat with the coordinators and they would help us and lead us. And then everything was very nicely arranged without then help our sessions daily, you know, seeing, visiting, everything would not be arranged easily. Without a doubt, I would recommend Vegetani Hospital because you provide excellent facilities, excellent support doctor expertise, and I think everyone should choose Vegetani for their treatment. Vetani, victory for life. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions and please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our healthcare videos.